welcome to another fishing adventure and on this video we're traveling to the Asian subcontinent to sample the fantastic fishing on offer in southern India. Our adventure begins in the big bustling Indian city of Bangalore in Connecticut where we get our first taste of South Indian culture in one of the biggest and fastest growing cities in Asia. From here we head south by minibus to more rural surroundings and onwards to a secluded river valley which flows through reserve land and is shrouded by steep sided hills and dense jungle. Our destination is the magical river Calvary which flows westward through stunning hillside scenery and is home to the hardest fighting freshwater fish of them all, the mighty Marcia. Six anglers finally arrived at Gallibori Camp on the banks of the River Corvary, some 6,000 miles from home, to be greeted by the sight of the most stunning river scenery imaginable. And from this point on, the adventure begins. In this video, I am presenting the highlights of four trips to the River Corvary at Gallibori. These video clips are not professionally made footage, but are merely camcorder recordings made by angling friends and acquaintances whilst fishing in India. But hopefully this video will convey the excitement of fishing in a truly wild environment and the real sense of adventure that makes Marseille fishing what it is today. I hope you enjoy the video. India, a land of vibrant, colourful culture and magnificent, endless scenery. And its angling history is legendary. During the heyday of the Raj, colonial anglers haunted the banks of the Corvary in search of a fish they hoped would rival the English salmon. These expatriates soon discovered the mighty Marcia and they judged it a noble and exhilarating quarry. These pioneering anglers of 100 or so years ago became a part of angling folklore and some massive fish were caught, the largest being a monster marcia of 120 pounds caught by Duet Van Ingham in 1946. Sadly, today the fishing is not as prolific as those magical colonial times of 100 years ago. The decline has been a result of dynamiting, poaching and water abstraction. But in certain places the Marcia is beginning to make a comeback and the Corvary at Gallibori is one of those places. Protected from dynamiting and poaching by a small group of local enthusiasts, the Marcia at Gallibori are now thriving. The well-known pioneering angler Dave Plummer of Norfolk has been taking groups of English anglers to the Gallibori stretch for the last 15 years with some remarkable results. In this video we show the highlights of some of those trips. Now that I've given you a brief introduction, let's kick off with some action. And we begin just downstream of camp as Martin Brown hooks into a fabulous golden mass here. Fishing around the croc, croc rock area for about three hours, and we're just giving it the last half an hour upstream, a bit closer to the camp. Martin's screaming take just helped her, what's 
obviously a big fish. Took about 50, 60 yards of line. It's in the early stage at the moment. It's been on about five minutes so far. There he goes, gaining some line. Well, the fish is snagged at the moment. Unfortunately, Renica's fishing on the other side. So he's took over one of the other guy's rods and he's going to cast over the line on the other side and hopefully pull the fish out of the snag. And Martin can continue the, the fight. It's probably about three quarters of the way across the river at the moment in Marcia. Resting around the rocks and the, she's parked the course over here. Renica just about to cast over the line. Martin and Curry here. And he's got the line. So hopefully the fish will be free very soon. And he'll be back in business. Come on, my son. Very slack, isn't it? Probably 15 minutes later now, and we're back in business. We're back in direct contact with the fish. Don't know how big it is, but the, judging by the initial run, it's got to be at least 30 yards ahead. How's it feel, Martin, playing a Mars here? Frightening. Frightening. We haven't seen the fish yet, but it's certainly uh, not too far away from the bank now. And it's been on for how long, guys? About 25 minutes? Well done, Martin. Well done, mate. You got it. It's yours. How big does he look? Forty. Curry. There we go. Hmm. Not far. Forty pounds. That. I'm gonna go 41, 41 and a half. Maybe bigger. Right. 44. Well done. Just over 44, about 44 and a half. Nice one, 44 and a half pounds, golden mass here for Martin Brown. What have you got to say for yourself? Wonderful. Good. Yep, for action and the fish. Been photographed, 44 pounds, 44 and a half pounds. Got from the campsite of Crocodile Rock. And a piece of raggy, and uh, there she goes. Well done. And Martin's about to have a celebratory beer now.
next clip, we see Dave McIntyre fishing downstream of camp at Grok Rocks. We join the action just after Dave hooks into a very powerful Marcia. Right, we have a bit of action here. Mac, it's, uh, it's about half past five, six o'clock in the evening, and on board of Raggy. Just had a very good take. Looks a very good fish. There's Bola. Ready with the stringer. Good take. Took about 30 40 yards of line out. He's gaining a bit back now. There he is. There's a line going into the water. Well, at first glimpse, it seems to be a very nice fish, possibly 50 plus. No, 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 smaller. 30. Smaller? 30 pounds. I just got a pretty. It'll do. Maybe even 20. No, no, no. In goes the stringer. Wait, 40? Uh, not 40. Good fish though. And there we are. I think that 33, 34. Thank you, Bowler. There's the happy man. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. I'll get the pictures where it's still light, I think. Ah, the hook's right in. Thank you, Bowler. That went well, didn't it? Look at that. Good fish. Beautiful uh, fish. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Beautiful fish. Right, now for the moment of truth. We've got the fish in the sling. And um, I'm about to see what she weighs. Little more. Oh, I mean that's just forty pounds, yeah. Little more, little more. Forty and a bit. Yeah, you see that? Forty pounds. Forty and a bit. Well done, Mac. Mm. After a week of catching fish. Not one over ten pounds, a few small ones. I've finally got a forty pound silver mouse here. Mm. With the assistance of bowler. And uh, mm. put up a bit of a scrap for himself, isn't it? A bit of a show for himself.
Gallibori Camp is set within a stunning hillside valley hidden away in the far south of Connecticut. Run by jungle lodges and resorts, the campsite has large spacious tent style huts with ensuite shower and washroom facilities. Breakfast and evening meals are served daily with a balanced mix of local Indian cuisine and more European style food. And the camp has a modern kitchen with a chef and willing catering staff. I am Ramesh, serving boy sometimes, sometimes guy. The campsite is perfectly placed in a steep-sided gorge where the surrounding hilltops provide some stunning panoramic views of the River Corvary Valley. As well as a place to eat and sleep, the campsite provides convenient shade from the heat of the midday sun and most of the site is conveniently located beneath large tamarind trees. And within this idyllic environment, anglers can share their fishing stories and discuss the day's fishing over a cool Kingfisher beer. So now let's get back to the fishing action as we travel a mile upstream to the rapids at Mysore Muller to see a fantastic silver marcia landed in front of the cameras. evening and Andy's just had a fish. Excellent. Didn't take him too long to play, give it a bit of stick I have to say. But we reckon it's over 30. Is it a silver or golden? We're rolling. Yeah. How well done matey. Beauty isn't it? I was getting eaten alive when I first picked up your camera and I was it's shaking all over the place. That's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Fishing's very hard at the moment, but uh, I managed to wink one out. Yeah. With help of this man. On a big ball of raggy. Fish at the bottom of a rapid. And uh, around, so you place. thought you'd lost it for a few seconds, didn't you? Yeah. And you caught, caught up with it again. And uh, luckily, we've got just enough light to uh, film it. It looks okay for the viewfinder, so it should be okay. Yeah, is that a personal best? It certainly is, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've got a personal best mass here. We haven't weighed it yet. But Andy ranks is about 30. Lovely. Yeah, 
You're still recording, yeah? I'm still recording, just for a few more seconds. Okay, say it one more time. Because you've got enough light to... Um, We now move slightly further upstream to the rapids at Moslahala where well-known angler Terry Eustace gets into the action and hooks into his first big golden mass here. We join the action at the beginning of the morning session at the well-known hotspot called The Wall at Moslahala. Well, Tails has hooked into a fish and it's obviously a big fish, stripped a, a lot of line on the first run and it's holding at the bottom of the pool at the moment, probably, oh, it must be 150 yards away and it's unquestionably a good fish. What is this way? Holding a rod, huh? Hey. Holding like this, yeah, like this, yeah. <coughs> Slowly. Slowly. Yeah, but uh, it's going maybe on the rock. Nice one, matey. How's it feel, Tell? Largish. Largish, that'll do. Well, there's a lot better than there's got a bit of line up here. Well, Tao's got a big fish on here. Good. It's not snagged. We thought it was snagged, but it's coming now. This is where we're playing the fish, and if I look down, you can see this is where the elephants have been the other night. Left their mark. Now she's not very far out now. It's been on for probably 15 minutes, I'd say. Behaving itself quite well. Only snagged Terry for probably a minute or so. We've got it. Oh look at that, heavenly, nice long fish. Is that my arse you're filming all this fish? Oh yes, look at that. We'll have a treble granny on that one please. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Get him fish under him and stuff. It's just heavenly fish. That's the golden mass here for Tell. Like I said. Thank you. There's Uncle Tell who's just landed it. You Good feeling, eh, Tell? <laughs> Excellent. Brilliant feeling. Brilliant. Well, Terry's going to swim down with Bowler. to a, a spot where it's good to take the photo from. 
And the fish is actually, we weighed the fish and it's turned out to be a 42 pound golden mass here. Beautiful fish. There she is. Awesome fish. 42 pounds. Pristine golden marcia with the assistance of bowler. Caught in a ball of raggy. Took about 20 minutes to land. And we've had two 40s in, in an evening and a morning, so can't be bad. Okay, okay. Uh, bowler, do you want to take the uh, stringer off? Okay. I'll try for just one last picture. Back you go home, baby. Lovely shot, lovely, lovely shot. <laughs> Excellent, look at that. <laughs> the action wasn't to end there for Terry Eustace, as the following evening he went on to catch a much bigger mass here well after dark, and the fish turned out to be a monster of over 70 pounds. That's it. Right, 35, 35 kilo. Okay. Uh -huh. 35 kilo. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's a small big boy. Yeah. Woohoo! Yippee! Hmm? Beautiful fish bowler. Yes. You were right, he was bigger. You have a couple there, the, um, 73. Mm -hmm. Got a split on his right peg. Kind of flies are a nuisance, isn't they? Mm -hmm. Look funny, the flies in on me. Do you want a couple with just you, Terry? Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, bowler. Okay, eh? okay, okay, you, you, you take it. Bowler, eh? fuck off. Go in the water. Hey, go for it. Hey. Okay, when you're ready. Three, two, one. Let me just get one coming down on you. Ready? Three, two, one. Two lights. <laughs> His tail was curling back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Take one log there. That's beautiful. Right there. Three, two, one. Ah. Okay, Charlie. You still one more. Ready? Take the torch off him a sec. Keep him down. Three, two, one. That's it. Keep his head down. Get down. Head down. From Terry's Big Fish, we move upstream again to the Kengal Rapids, where Derek King catches a 30 pound plus golden marcia in front of the cameras. Well, it's uh, Sunday, 2nd of February, um, and I hooked another fish. <laughs> um, 
It was a very good take. Beautiful fish, that. And raggy pace. And uh, our guide is uh, Baza. Mac has gone in uh, to take the weight for me. And uh, well, hopefully we'll see what's uh, the result. It's a lovely uh, long fish. Max just saying there that uh, he thinks it's a 30. But um, let's, let's see. I think that's near a 40. Good God. £38. 38? £38. Pounds. Oh my God, that's incredible. Well done, matey. 38 pounds you've got. Thank you, Mac. 38 pounds. I cannot believe this. This trip has just that's gone a from fish. a dream to... <clears throat> and there's Baza. Yes. Cradling the... Oh, I love beautiful. Lovely long fish. Beautiful. That's a powder, isn't it? Well, we just took a couple of pictures. The fish weighed 38 pounds. Took a ball of raggy virtually on the drop. And took him down the rapids. We're at uh, Hyra. Kengal Rapids. Kengal Rapids. Downstream. Kengal Downstream. And we landed, landed at the pool at the bottom. Took about 15 minutes to land. There's old Bazza here. Bazza our guide, first time we've had him on this trip. And he's done us proud so far. We've still got a couple of hours left for the morning session. It's stunning, aren't they? It, that's the shot. Look at that. That's the photograph that is. Yeah, okay, back she goes. Been on the stringer for a while, so she should be quite strong. If we turn these fish back into the fast waters when they're tired, they just they just drown. The Corvary Valley is home to some impressive and varied wildlife and Gallibori is a great place for viewing wild animals. The Gallibori stretch is primarily a wild elephant reserve with restricted access and herds of wild elephants can often be seen close to the river. The pools just downstream of camp are home to some large crocodiles. Although these are mainly active at night, they can often be seen swimming around during the day and occasionally sunning themselves on a large rock at the edge of the river. Down in the pools, you're also quite likely to see smooth-coated otters. These are larger than their European cousins and they can often be seen in groups playfully chasing each other through the marginal rocks at the far end of the riverbank. Wild boar are also very common in the area and can often be seen in herds foraging for food in the evening time just before dark. These animals can be dangerous to approach but can be safely viewed from a distance. Large herds of deer of various species are common in the Corvary Valley and they often venture very close when you are quietly fishing on the riverbank. 
and overhead you're also quite likely to see eagles and Brahmini kites gracefully riding the thermals high above the river valley. Site, there are always monkeys hiding in the trees, constantly on the lookout for scraps of food to eat or an easy meal conveniently left on an empty dining table. Various species of monkey are often seen in the area, and if you're lucky, you may well witness the grey langa monkey which can be viewed in this video clip with its distinctive black and white markings. Fish owls are common in the valley and they can often be seen roosting within the canopy of trees surrounding the campsite. They are similar in size to an eagle owl and are common throughout southern Asia. In this next clip we see the rare Indian giant squirrel, also known as the Malabar squirrel. This species is distributed along the Western Ghat Mountains of southeastern India and is also common in Sri Lanka, but beyond this range it is now very rare and endangered. Last but not least, we should also remember there are numerous snakes in southern India, some of which are very poisonous. A snake here that's just uh, run across the beach. It's probably poisonous. I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> and in this clip we see Dave McIntyre with a green tree snake. next clip we take a stroll down to Crocodile Rocks, one mile downstream of camp, where a short evening session produces a fine 32 pound marcia. We join the action after dark at 8.45pm, just after the fish has been landed. Yeah, it's all in, it's fine. Fall in if you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah? That's perfect. There you go, 31 pound golden mouse here. Caught in a chilwa. Quarter to nine in the evening. Cracking result. Let's have a look at the other side. Then we can let it go. back into the river now I think yeah so we'll just untie this here yeah keep filming
Moving on, we now continue the nighttime action, again at Crocodile Rocks. And this time we join Dave McIntyre and Derek King to witness a magnificent brace of fish weighing 41 pound and 79 pound respectively. Albury River, Crocodile Rock, and matey boy behind the camera's got a 79 pounder on the end of his stringer. What a night. Okay. What an incredible night. Press record on that. Yeah. That's it. It should be right now. Can you see it all? Yeah. Okay. Right. One more. Okay, that'll do. And he's on record. Right, okay. Back she goes. Derek, on his first night in India, and he's got a beautiful 79 pound golden mass here from Crocodile Rock. Taken on a ball of raggy, fished about 30 yards out. Took about 100 yards of line on two or three runs. And he's landed about 50, 60 yards down the bank. No real problems, everything went to plan. And uh, the happy bunny. And it's only the first night. So we're gonna go off, have a beer, and grab a... Oh well, I don't know whether we'll be able to sleep tonight, but there you go. Anyway, back she goes. Okay. Hold on, matey. Now move upstream to the Camp Pool where we see John Wilson hooking into a substantial Marcia whilst fishing in a rapidly rising river. We join the action as John takes to a coracle to play the fish in open water whilst his angling friends watch the drama unfold on the opposite side of the river bank. Now Big John's uh, had a fish on and it's uh, snagged him so one of the guys has gone to get the coracle it's been on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Of course it was a very small fish, but uh, it's uh, possibly a 20 plus. Let's find out. We don't normally fish this time of day, but since it's the last day, it's nice going to be quite clean. And bowler to the rescue. The fish was unsnagged temporarily. Someone's gone to the other bank, but it's really snagged as well, so bowler's going to try and bring the line. I don't think big fish, but okay. Well, fish has been on for about, probably getting on for half an hour now, 25 minutes, half an hour. And uh, I think it's a much bigger fish than we first anticipated. It's uh, very close now. Boulders uh, getting ready. Oh, oh, oh. Stand up, Dave. Yeah, they've got it. They've got it. That is a lump. Oh, easy. Yeah, Have we got a 
sling with some holes yeah. in it. No. Oh. Maybe a bit more. John's magnificent Marcia, we now witness another massive fish, again caught from the camp pool, and landed seven hours after John's 70 pounder. We join the action as Ollie Brown displays yet another fantastic 70 pound plus golden Marcia. Papa, Mr. Oh. Brown, <laughs> Papa Brown, Daddy, what's <laughs> <laughs> it? Somebody hold this torch while I set my camera. Yeah, I've got it in it. However, is it more? Huh? Oh, However, it's heavy. Oh, heavy. Yeah. <laughs> right, lift it up. Wait, it's a mate of your one, John. No, I think that's bigger. It's bigger yeah, than yours. Yeah. Same weight, same weight I give it. Same feet. 70, <laughs> yeah. 71. 71? 71. Yay. Roughly about the same fish. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let your dad get sorted. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Underneath, underneath, underneath. Got a yeah. nick on his top. His door, get ready. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you all right there, Martin? Yeah. 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 You all set? Yeah. Everybody set. Put your yeah. knees down. Put your knees in the sand hole. Put your knees in the sand. Kneel in the sand hole. That's it. Uh, got a Ready? Nice lump yeah. on his stool, so let me. Oh. He's slightly to his tail, slightly towards us. That's it. That would be awesome. Roll out. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh. Hang on, sorry. One more and then let's get him back. Okay. She's coming to watch that. Yeah. of that dream 70 pound Marcia brings the action on this video to an end as we bid farewell to the wonderful river Corvary in southern India. Uh, 
I hope this video has given you an insight into what Marseille fishing is all about and has shown you the unique unrivaled challenge that Marseille fishing represents. The River Corvary at Gallibori is indeed a magnificent and exclusive venue. Its unrivalled backdrop scenery and impressive wildlife make it the ideal destination for the discerning adventure angler. And the absolute icing on the cake must be the chance to fish for those big nomadic humpback marcia that inhabit this exclusive stretch of river. A beast that can truly be labelled the king of freshwater fish and the ultimate angling adversary. Thank you.